past, Windows Defender wasn't the most trusted antivirus software out there, causing people to download third-party software over the top of it. Now that we're in 2019, Windows Defender has gone through a lot of changes over the years, and we're going to look at whether it's good enough to be the only antivirus you need on Windows 10. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier, and this is Is Windows Defender Actually Good Enough 2019? When it comes to antivirus software, Windows Defender is the natural choice. In fact, it's not so much a choice as the standard state of things, as it comes pre-packed with Windows 10. In previous Windows iterations, it was known as Microsoft Security Essentials. It's therefore tempting to just leave it as it is and say to yourself that things will probably be fine, right? But is Windows built-in tool enough, or do we still need to rely on the big guns of antivirus software to keep us safe online? How does Windows Defender compare? Talking about Windows Defender in isolation won't get us anywhere. What we need to know is how it stacks up to the biggest antivirus programs that you've probably downloaded or even paid for over the years, the McAfee's, the ABG's and Bitdefenders of the world. Thankfully, there are several sites dedicated to comparing antivirus software on a monthly basis. AV Test AV Test helps users make educated decisions about what antivirus they should use. They rank each antivirus on three factors using a scale from 0 to 6, where 6 is the best. The three elements they test for are protection, performance and usability. So how did Windows Defender fare? Pretty well it seems. In April 2018, Windows Defender scored 5.5 across the three categories, but the tests from December 2018 actually showed an improvement in protection, giving it full marks. That technically gives it the same protection and performance ratings as antivirus giants like Avast, Avira and AVG. In real terms, according to AV Test, Windows Defender currently offers 99.6% protection against zero-day malware attacks. Out of 1.5 million samples, Defender detected seven legitimate bits of software as malware in November, which was a little worse than the industry average of five. So Windows Defender is certainly capable of mixing it up with the big boys, which may come as a surprise to those who knew it several years ago as somewhat of a rudimentary solution. AV Comparatives It's hardly representative to look at just one site though as AV tests, means of testing and criteria will differ slightly from another. On that note, another popular website for antivirus testing is AV Comparatives. Can Windows Defender carry its impressive form over onto this site? Looking at the real-world protection tests, the results are again pretty good. AV Comparatives carried out its tests using a mixture of malicious URLs, drive-by downloads and URLs redirecting users to malware. Windows Defender had a 0% compromise rate, which was better than the 0.5 rate with Avast and AVG, and up there with the flawless scores of Avira, Bitdefender and McAfee. Compared with previous years, Windows Defender has drastically improved in blocking user-dependent malware, so malware where Windows gives a warning to the user but still gives the option of executing it. In April 2018, the rate of user-dependent malware was 3.6. In July through November 2018, this dropped down to an average of 0.8%. Where Windows Defender has slipped quite badly is in detecting false positives, where it now has by far the highest rate of all the major antivirus software out there. It clocked 106 false positives from July through November 2018, more than double that of the second worst AV in this regard. These two trends could be correlated. With an increase in false positives and a much better blocking of user-dependent malware being the result of tighter security measures through Windows Defender. Of course, other software shows that you can score well in both these categories, so that's the next thing Microsoft should be aiming for, cutting down false positives while maintaining high security. Small hiccups aside, historical data on both AV tests and AV comparatives shows a marked improvement in Windows Defender's performance over the years. Back in October 2015, Windows Defender received the joint lowest rating for protection, 3.5 out of 6, amounting to just 95% protection against zero-day malware attacks. This was an alarming 80.5% in September 2015. The industry average at the time was 97.2%, so Windows Defender was decidedly trailing the pack. At AV Comparatives, meanwhile, Windows Defender had a 3% compromise rate from July through November 2016. That has been almost directly replaced by the possibility of user-dependent security compromises in 2018, which still isn't perfect, but a huge improvement. 
conclusion. The verdict? A sturdy defence. A few years ago you'd been laughed off for suggesting it was enough for you to sit back, install no third party AB software and let Windows take care of defending your PC. While we wouldn't necessarily encourage complacency, Windows Defender is now well proven as a viable antivirus option unto itself. However, if you want to err on the side of caution, there would be no harm in adding an extra layer of protection over Windows Defender just to eliminate the minute possibility that something could sneak through the net. But do you need to worry if all you have is Windows Defender? No, not anymore. However, the malware landscape is always shifting, and we'll keep an eye out for the developments that suggest otherwise. OK, as always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, then please take a moment to like, subscribe, and comment below. That's all for now. See you next time. Thank you.